Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rich, and I'm back with the Sunday Sampler. This week we're going to be taking a quick look at Radiant One. This is a point-and-click interactive fiction, self-published by Fantastic, I believe is the way to pronounce that. There's a, it's a couple of letters off Fantastic, so I'm guessing on that one. Uh, but as per usual, this is a review copy. So Radiant One, even though it doesn't show the title of it anywhere on the main screen is like i said interactive fiction is the best way i can put it at least it's not quite a visual novel it's not quite a walking simulator it's in that area in between and this is also going to be one of those games that i wish that steam itself had a eh, and not really a thumbs up thumbs down because yeah, I like this game overall, but I really can't recommend it. As the music is starting to get a little loud, let's dive into options real quick just to turn that down a little bit. There we go. And it does have Russian and English, and that's it. It's actually from a Russian developer. So, Fantastic. They have had a couple games out, and this is actually a port of a mobile title or this is coming out on mobile as well i'm actually not sure of the timing on that i should have double checked that it's only on itunes though and as per usual for these sort of things it does have a pc tax a rather substantial one almost double the price <laughs> as it is on mobile and I think this game really goes to show the difference of expectation between a mobile game and a pc game in that this game is short, damn short, very, very damn short, as in 30 minutes short. And for a mobile game, you know, a mobile experience, just going through a very simple story like this, you know, it's not that bad for a couple bucks. But for this five bucks, for a sit down and play it and, you know, you're, it's over before it really begins. It, it's very, very different expectations, which makes me very hesitant on suggesting this outside of a deep, deep sale. So let's just go in and let's talk a little bit about this, even though I've kind of already shown my hand on not recommending this. So I'm just going to start new game. It does have a save function, even though it is only a 30 minute game. So yeah. New game, save game progress will be deleted, but I restarted it anyway, so let's go ahead and just dive right in. Uh, loading screen, Los Angeles, March 2018. Two weeks earlier. So, it, it, the game does this weird jumping around almost, where there's areas where the game can be fleshed out, where the story can be fleshed out, but it really doesn't, and it's doing a lot of of a uh, tell not show which could have added a little bit more meat on the bones as it is right now that I, I don't want to go too much into the story and i'm just going to kind of slowly go through these scenes to try to not spoil it if you are interested in this game or want to pick it on, mo mo on mobile assuming it's of course it's the same version but concerning the controls i'm pretty sure it is is that because of the jumps and the game already have a, a fairly simple story that, you know, is 30 minutes tops, 30, 35 minutes. Uh, it just feels like uh, the time jumps uh, could have just, you know, been fleshed out more. So let's see. Uh, uh, I'm not going to read all these. This game is not voice acted in, at all. It's all in the, uh, the music and uh, sound effects. Outside of that, you know, nothing really going on. So I'm just going to slowly page through this. This does go right into the action or action as this game shows fairly quickly. So concentrate. And this is where you can really see that it's a mobile title. <laughs> At first, I thought this was uh, supporting game pads, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't. Everything is surrounded either by point and click uh, moving around or interacting with this circle in some way, either clicking and holding, rapidly clicking, clicking and dragging, or in this case, timing. So, and again, and we're drifting off 
to sleep. I have to say that the art is very impressive in this game, though. It's a very um, almost comic book style, I guess. I'm not quite sure on the way to uh, describe it, but yeah, a lot of thought going into the animation and the detail of the main character. Granted, there's only a few characters, but a lot of focus has been given in the art direction. Even just moving around. I did encounter a bug uh, at one point where I was in an elevator. And I was trying, and it was like I was trying to pass outside of it because the elevator doors were still closed, though. I was just kind of walking in place against it. Not a huge deficit, but with a game this short, yo, know, any bug or any issue is magnified. So follow the light. And click to interact. At least they have click and not tap. I mean, that, that would just enrage me at that point. And we're dead. So weird. Is this a dream? Yeah, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to give away too much just because now we're just... Oh, hold. That's how I am. It's a little hard to read those at times because of the... Uh, of it just being white text with no uh, slight border on it. But even just rapidly clicking. See, here is a uh, press the button several times to concentrate. I knew that th that was coming up. Uh, I got the tube uh, mixed up. And uh, here's where it gets a little odd. Click and drag. Obviously on phone, this would be tap and drag or, you know, swipe or whatever. And there's a few very quick actions that are involving this control that makes it a lot more cumbersome on PC. Not to the point where it's game breaking, but at the same time, it's not exactly intuitive. It's just odd. And that's just a holdover from it being a mobile port. But yeah, it's very impressive visuals for a, such a small game. And there's F-Fantastic, in case you need a spelling on that. <laughs> yeah, uh, really, there's not too much to talk about here. I mean, I'm pretty much already covered everything. It's a very short game. It's $4.99 with a 10% discount till the day after this releases. So, uh, $4.49. Uh, or normally for four, uh, 499 it's down to 449 for a day uh, after this video comes out it's just so short that it's uh, I'm not sure if it's really gonna get a lot of sales or and now see here's a you know a good example of it just doing text dump it does this several times and multiple times they do it with uh, a time skip as well so Yo, you never win a day without entering a lucid dream. They could have shown this a lot more. They could have had this slow progression where the boundaries were blurring uh, until one day. You know, they could have had that, but instead, you know, they just, you, pa you pass the point of no return. Which, uh, you know, the fact that they just do text dumps like that multiple times is uh, very, well, I mean, we're now jumped two weeks. That could have been a lot more story progression. That could have been a lot more of a slow burn to give more emphasis on what goes on in the actual story, which, I, like I said, I don't want to spoil, but uh, it's just a disappointment, really. Considering how much effort went into the game uh, on the visual front, even though, yo, it is a very simple point and click uh, interactive fiction, whatever you want to call this exactly. That I'm impressed on that front. It's just, you know, there's not much else here. So if you need games with a lot of story, uh, story depth, or the fact that this guy doesn't seem to own a bed, he just sleeps on his couch for some reason, then yeah, uh, Radiant One would be for you. But if you want something a little bit more substantial, well, yeah. I think we're pretty much done here already. I mean, it's only been 10 minutes, but that's about one third of the game runtime. <laughs>
Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. As always, constructive feedback is greatly appreciated. I am sorry to, uh, to bash on this game because I do like the art style. I do like uh, uh, the overall themes of the game. But, yeah. So, constructive feedback is greatly appreciated, either in the comments below or... If you don't really have anything to say, but will I let, want to let me know that you've enjoyed or even hated this, the appropriate buttons are there. And subscribe if you see more of the Sunday sampler when I actually get it out on a weekly basis. Yeah, that's actually been a problem lately. Or my other content. I uh, Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with more of Thanks to Sample next time, even though this was more of a review, wasn't it? It seems I'm not sleeping a lot, even more than usual. Maybe I should lay back on the coffee. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're done here.